This is a follow-up to the January 2023 seminar on the accountability of finance and public accounts and public enterprises committees of the National Assembly and stakeholders. The engagement is a strategic effort to strengthen structures to promote necessary political will, to effect legislative measures to enhance transparency and accountability to combat corruption. One year on the Westminster Foundation for Democracy, organized a follow-up seminar to review and build on the progress made so far in strengthening public sector accountability. Usman Jallo of the Westminster Foundation described the forum as a follow-up activity of the January 2023 seminar, which sought to build relationships and establish channels of information sharing between the National Assembly committees and stakeholders to boost accountability functions of the two committees. So this is going to be a very fruitful engagement. You know, it's an opportunity that you have uh, with your key stakeholders. You, you discuss, you air out um, some of your concerns you have, some of the issues, you know, the misconceptions, the, mis the misunderstandings at some point. So it's more of a discussion. That's why we have it um, in a format more of a panel the discussion so that to allow exchange. Lamin J. Sane and Alaji S. Dabo Chairpersons of the Public Enterprises and Finance and Public Accounts Committees, respectively, both commended Westminster Foundation for partnering with their respective committees to strengthen the institutional aspects, broadening transparency and accountability. You are already aware that not um, PEC and FPAC alone can do these things, but the, all the various stakeholders has to be uh, uh, has to be at par in terms of our approach, so that there is going to be an accountability and transparency in our uh, public finance dealing with. And that will enable us to combat corruption as, as we intend to do. In this very important seminar, FPAC will be giving an overview of some of the activities that we have been doing, likewise PEC. We'll also try to put across the challenges and constraints that we tend to face here and there in carrying out our functions. Kalifan by the Deputy Clerk of the National Assembly said the passing of the Anti-Corruption Act 2023 and several groundbreaking resolutions, as well as recent FPAC and PEC committee reports, highlight significant political commitments against corruption. FPAC and PEC in Parliament can't do it alone. So that is the reason why you will see of course, very prominent and key partners or stakeholders, if you may call them. Uh, the police, the, the accountant general's department, and of course the civil society, you name them, are here to join us so that we can uh, have a discussion. Not uh, per se in a formal presentation form, but a discussion forum. How do we collaborate as partners or stakeholders in this accountability? A UK political body dedicated to support democracy around the world. Westminster Foundation for Democracy work with parliaments, political parties and civil society groups to help national political system transparent and be more inclusive. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Omar Pijalo.